in Photoshop, of course. Um, and these are the print settings that I'm going to use. Um, and I'm just making this for my son because he asked for this. He's been asking me for a while. So I want to take any prints at an all over shirt using my Epson 8550 printer. So what I had to do is go to file, print. I have my print settings here and I do want to mention that I let my printer manage my colors instead of Photoshop. So I go to print settings and rear paper feeder, my Super B 13 by 19 premium, pa premium presentation paper mat, that's a mouthful, color, high, right here, that's off. I don't want it on two sides, but right here, I do want it two by two so that it can print two on the top, two on the bottom. Leave all this the same, and I always do a print preview. And just for anyone who needs to see like what the color options I go with, and I play with them a little bit from time to time so I can see what it looks like on different images because when you're using human versus like just colors and a random design it's a little bit different um, so I have different presets that I have set up depending on what it is that I'm printing so I set up all these different presets over here and I have that in another video. Um, so what you do is go to advanced, color controls, Adobe RGB 2.2 is the gamma, color circle, brightness 9, 8 contrast, 15 saturation, 4 is the density. I'm going to try this out and see how this works for me. Um, I may just do a small little test section because I have something else that I need to test as well. But I do want to just show you guys this part. So I, I am going to do a little sample testing on some 100% polyester material that I got from Walmart. I always like to do a test on that so I can see how my colors will look. Okay, so if I go to print right now, it's going to show you my four panels of my entire four by four, I mean, two by two, um, but it's four, so easy to say four by four, but my four panels. So with each part of my 13 by 19 paper is what I have a set as. Each piece will print just like this so that I can put it on to my shirt Also, I'm going to close that out because I don't want to print just yet. I do want to show you one other thing, and that's Innate Academy. That's how I'm learning how to do all this Photoshopping. So if you guys want to join the group, I will put my affiliate link in the description for you too. How about that? So here is where you go to your image, image size, and I have that as 13 by 19. And keep all of this the same, 300 resolution, click OK. But I also change my canvas size too. It won't show, but it's 13 by 19 as well. I don't know why it keeps disappearing when I put that in there, but it's 13 by 19. So that's how that goes. And I will show when I print this and what it looks like after 
I'm done and I take it off. So stay tuned for part two. Thank you. See you in the next one.